recently I had a, a brother send an email who had been watching and commenting and was not a believer but uh, you know they asked a question of me and I gave him a, an answer and then after that, that I did a video or something to that effect and uh, something I said in the video the person felt like I was addressing them you know they didn't have a problem with it they took it as a correction addressing but that that wasn't it I, I, that's not um, my MO when I do these videos now sometimes I see trends in the email and so I will address a particular trend or, or just you know something that's trending period and I will address that or something that I feel uh, led by the Holy Spirit to address but never picking on an individual or spending uh, all of you guys time on one person uh, as, as much as possible I do try to avoid that so that was not the case because when I do these messages I like to be free and clear and, and you understand what that means now I've not been free and clear in about a week because I've been upset about something and it's a personal something it's something that conspired within my own family and uh, you know transpired within my own family <laughs> But uh, maybe that wasn't so Freudian slip. But um, you know, lots of things I could say right here. But just to keep everything relevant and keep everybody in the same, on the same page, and in the same loop, uh, it had to do with something that we talk about a fair amount here. And that's the elders and the treatment of the elders. And what do the elders deserve after all of what they've done for us, all the sacrifices they made, all of the discrimination they endured, all of the walls that they ran up against. And then when they become elders up in years and unable to care for themselves properly, we take uh, legal control attorney privilege over their property and then we take what they have earned now I'm not saying that all families do this but I'm saying this is a this ain't no uncommon thing here and it I know it's used by the enemy to tear families apart we're not going to give the enemy that victory However, they be mad as hell. Can I can I be frank? Yeah, it did. Worst part, maybe mad was nothing I, nothing I could do about it. The prophet is not without respect, except in his own hometown. My my word don't mean tired. So it was a decision made without my input. I, I mean, my input wouldn't have been paid no attention to no way because. I've already verbalized how I feel about those things to family members. And, and, uh, and you know, who's supposed to do it? You see, that's always the thing. You know, the child supposed to do it. Do what? Take care of them. Now, certain times, certain, certain circumstances, the child is unable and they need some assistance from the grandchildren. Then it becomes a group effort. Then the group got to get together and do whatever they got to do to make sure that their final years here is spent how they want to spend them. Some people, grandmas, clean folks' houses for a living to get what they got. Some folks, grandmas, endured terrible marriages to get what they got. It did when they get old and they just, you know, the memory's failing them. Their capacities are not up to par. After 80 years of using them to try to beat this system, that can happen. You can get a little damage there, couldn't you? 
And they fought hard. They fought harder than any of us know about. Let's be for real. And then, then they get old and sick. Begin to forget. And everybody trying to get a hold of their skit. Something ain't right about that. I, 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 don't, I mean, people got all kind of reasons why they do it. But when don't that happen? When don't the when don't the elder stuff get transferred over? If that ain't part of the equation, well, somebody got to take it over and take care of it. I I maintain that's the motivation. So as you can see, you know, I I'm requesting prayer. I'm requesting some prayer from all of you out there. Because, see, I, I do not accept trauma and uh, 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 post-traumatic stress and all that. I don't accept that stuff. I got to agree with it. I don't agree. I disagree. But I understand how the devil works in the mind. And so I am not going to give him any place in my mind. We love our mothers and our fathers. and We know that they are human and they make decisions like humans do. Some good, some bad, right? But I implore you, if you are at all able to visit and see your grand folks, to do so. To make that a priority, an effort, a sacrifice. It's both obedience and sacrifice. You obey in the command to honor thy father and mother so that your days will be long. And the sacrifice is whatever it is you got to give up that you think is so worthy. Huh? So important to your lifestyle. Sound like Slim Thug singing about your lifestyle. Everybody talking about their lifestyle. I remember my, well, we don't get too personal, but I remember my old dude that told me, and you know, I don't know. But he had told me a relative to see it. They weren't going to be able to take care of Grandma Jackson because it interfered with her lifestyle. Interfered with their with that relative's lifestyle. And uh, those of y'all been listening for a minute, you know I got two grandmas like everybody. And Grandma Jackson was the one I was the tightest with. Gave me this wit. Grandmother's wit. But uh, it's funny to see the same things happening on two different sides of your family. People don't even communicate with each other. But it's just the way of the world. You know, and, and no, I ain't trying to, no, don't let me paint myself like I've been the perfect saint and I ain't. Or like I've been able to take care of things and, 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 you know, change situations for people. And I've not been able to do that. And that bothers me. It's a blessing to be able to change some of the situations of those that listen. But it's a source of anguish to not be able to make changes within your own family circle. And so um, I wanted to say that to y'all. And I hope those who haven't had a chance to see the rest of the OBZ show, parts two and three, get a chance to see those. And hopefully I'll have part four up before the end of this week, hopefully, prayerfully, making some adjustments, some things to help improve the ministry. And I hope that you will all remain patient, diligent, and supportive in all the ways that you can uh, while uh, that endeavor is undertaken. Because now is the time to make some moves and create some of the avenues here. Okay, and, and uh, there was a good brother who wrote me a good email. And sometimes emails get buried. I enjoyed the email so thoroughly. I'm mad that it's just not coming to my remembrance now. But um, it's because of what I had just said. The brother had said that he was looking for uh, the movies that I had done and you know, what I send them out to him, you know, he would pay or give a donation or whatever. 
and uh, you know I'm not to sell things uh, but perhaps we will have to set up something like that especially now that the movies have been erased to where if people want to get the movie collection I can burn them all and send them uh, to you but like I said I'm, I'm working out those things now so just uh, uh, do be patient and keep those things in mind or the movies are going from Google Plus they not going at all I have all of them but um, I wanted to say to that brother thank you uh, for that suggestion and um, thank you for your support of email period and to all who support and who constantly comment things of that nature my uh, net has been acting up and so I've not been able to be as present uh, as I would like to be and so um, but I do see your comments and things I try to plus one and whatnot whenever I can though I'm not always able to leave an extensive comment um, I do thank those of you who are diligent and who are overstanding especially uh, and my thoughts and prayers are with you daily my thoughts and prayers are with the Matthew 24 and 24 crew daily okay regardless of what else is going on in, in personal life and family life things of that nature this is my calling and it is the office the Lord has placed me in and so I have to be a good steward over it and not mess it up uh, no kind of way and so that's why uh, there had been a delay in delivering the message because I didn't want the message to be uh, personalized like this and is you feel me <laughs> and I want to get us back to Esdras and also a couple of interesting things I saw in Proverbs that I think um, would tack on quite easily actually to the end of this message but I, I do I'm, I'm going to keep this message short just so it can get up and out there and just so you know that I am alive and well for those who inquired about that if you do some things about obesity and they get to blocking you worldwide things can happen to you not yet uh, uh, but I do thank you for your concern and for your awareness being aware keep me covered in prayer you know the things that, that attack me uh, at, or, or cause me to pause from attack be the spiritual things not you know not so much the things of this world so much uh, but you know if, if you can't do nothing else please do keep me covered in prayer because that's show enough enough molding enough uh, but I need that all the time I need that every day okay so uh, because every day I'm battling okay not every day I'm hustling every day I'm battling and in 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 one form or another because it, it's just you know it is what it is uh, but again consider this a thank you thing a heads up thing a reminder you know for those of you who have grandparents don't be like what you've seen promoted in the cartoons I would see on South Park and different cartoons stuff they talk about old people like they was just a nuisance and in the way and of course you know that's not what I say it is the source of wisdom on this planet in the midst of the confusion that knowledge has wrought we have the elders and their wisdom and their experience to glean from things that can tell you is right or wrong only because they tried it and know different than what you can read okay or what you think you know so uh, with that being said I just want to encourage everyone to spend some time with your grand people you know, if they're in one of them places, you ain't seen them in a while, shame on you, go see them. And if they're not in one of them places and you ain't seen them in a while, shame on you, go see them. Before they end up in one of them places. Because I'm telling you, whoever got the most power to have a say-so over, soon as she get to slipping and dipping and tripping, you know what's going to happen. So now, if there's any way you can step in there, you know. Some of you are not in financial straits. So, you know, you ought to be ashamed of yourself if you let somebody step in there and take what your ancestor earned. For whatever the reason be. Let them have it till they don't know what it is no more. They earned it. 
Who cares? They pee all over. Who cares? That's theirs. Now see that's see that's why I didn't want to do one. Cause I know my feelings is gonna come out. Yeah. And this ain't about feelings. Okay? But I have them. So uh again, much love to all of you. You can look forward to the next one being a reading for show. Okay? I love y'all. Okay? You don't know how much. And I wish I could show you. But I do. I love y'all. Y'all y'all keep me motivated. So much love unto you and much love unto yours, especially your elders who open those doors. Shalom.